nice day today. Hope people have been enjoying it because there's some less pleasant weather uh, looming. Yeah, don't say we didn't warn you. We've been talking about this front for a couple of days. Yeah, but the rain amounts are starting yes. to get people's attention. So the right. wind is bothering me less, the rain's bothering me more. So yeah. we're going to talk about this in a, in a moment. And if it bothers me, it should bother you. Let me tell you <laughs> that. It was warm today. 70s in a lot of spots. 75 Port Smith, 72 in Augusta, 70 in Bangor, 66 in Portland Average High, 61. Because of where we started, plus the clouds, plus the direction of the winds, tonight is going to be relatively mild. We'll stay in the 50s in a lot of spots, briefly in the 40s in a few, but way warmer than the last few nights. Uh, and that has to do with some of the cloudiness that, that's coming in here. Now, tomorrow is a transition day. That's how I've been selling it. We're going to see a lot of clouds, a couple of sprinkles. You can see them here in the, in the uh, just little dots of green, but not a lot of real rain until after sunset and even that it kind of regroups along the front here and most of us wait until after midnight to start seeing some really heavy rain that rain comes through though moves eastward slowly through the evening on thursday and into friday now i'm going to tell you right now i think this front is, this model is too quick moving this front out of here i think it's slower than this is depicting so it rains much of the day if not the entire day on friday for almost the whole state and it's still raining friday night over central and eastern Maine into northern Maine, and perhaps all the way into Saturday morning. Bands of rain will continue there before we're able to clear out for Saturday afternoon. So we looked at this on a, on a kind of an x-ray version and say, okay, wh what are the winds? That was the first thing we wanted to look at. Well, the winds are still there, 40 to 45 miles an hour, east, southeast, which will give us some scattered power outages. I don't think we're going to get to the level of 55 or so that we would need for widespread power outages, but it'll certainly be windy. And I think we'll leave, lose some leaves on some of the high terrain trees, but not the rest of them. I think they'll stay there. Uh, and that wind continues through Friday afternoon. What bothers me now is the trend with the rain. The American GFS model is the only one here keeping that front relatively progressive, getting it out of here by Friday evening. So it's only got a half inch or an inch or so of rain. That seems reasonable. The European model, though, however, is far from reasonable. We will stall as it continues to accumulate rain here through Saturday morning. And some of these rainfall totals obviously are huge. Now, I'd toss that if it were by itself, but it isn't. The latest NAM model, which is a small scale model, does the same thing. Uh, so it's really just the GFS that's holding out here. And I think there's a chance that we could see some amounts over four inches, especially in this zone right here and into the foothills where that moisture kind of bangs up against that high terrain. So four inches plus is a possibility there. Obviously that would be enough for some pretty widespread flooding. So we'll keep an eye on that. That's been a change. And, and you know, the American model is being stubborn. It, the new one just came in and it still says, nah, an inch of rain. So this is the fun. If it were a winter storm, it'd be a lot more fun. Either way, I think it will be rainy and windy on Friday. I do think we'll see some areas that will get a lot of rain enough to cause some flooding. So we're just trying to nail that down. We should clear out Saturday afternoon, guys. Sunday, it's actually pretty nice. Mid and upper 60s, mixture of sun and clouds. And then we've got an upper level low next week, which I do not have time for yet. Well, that's but, okay. But it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's worth staying, uh, staying up to date over the next couple of days. Right. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty strong for sure. Thanks, right. Keith.